solve. They give you a quadratic equation they're asking you to solve. They ask you to use one of the following methods. Complete the square, factoring by square roots or quadratic formula. And you can only use it once. Now the best thing to do, or the easiest thing to do, is to factor. So if you're able to factor it, that's what you should do. Factor it so you can solve it. So first let's see if we can factor this out. Factors of 3x squared will be 3x times x. Factors of 8 can be 8 times 1 or 4 times 2. In this case, I'm going to use 4 and 2. I'm going to place my 4 in here because if I multiply, that gives me 12. And my 2 in here because if I multiply, that gives me 2. So 12 minus 2 will give me the 10 that I need. They need to have different signs. So therefore, I'm going to make this a positive so it gives me positive 12 minus 2 is a 10 equal to 0 so since we're able to factor it that'll be the easiest process now of course you can always uh, use a quadratic formula and you'll get the same answer but it'll be a much longer process we cannot complete the square because of this 3 if the 3 was not here then we can complete the square to complete the square you must have an x square or just a linear coefficient of 1 and the value of b should be even in this case is 10 but in this case we're just going to factor it so it's much much easier and we can now that i factor it i'm going to use my zero power property i know that if they're multiplying and they're equal to zero one or both should be zero either 3x minus 2 should be zero or x plus 4 should be zero move the 2 to the right because say positive 2 divide by 3 Move the 4 to the right, we can say negative 4. And those are my two solutions.